and I've never broken any laws. I don't care at all. In fact, I am so happy that I ran that webcam studio. I almost am tempted, just as a fuck you to Romania, to open a new one. There's 3,000 of them here anyway. I might just open one and hire a bunch of models and say, come and arrest me because it's not a crime. But uh, I think that goes against my newfound morality, my values. So I won't do that, but I could. And the prosecutors from DCOT could literally suck my dick because there's nothing wrong with that business. And it's a fully legal tax payable business. And there are studios all over this country. So people often ask me if I'm ashamed of running that webcam studio. And I'm like, no, I'm exceptionally proud of myself. I learned so much about I think the male condition, how lonely men are, how sad men are, and this is something that me and Andrew talk about a lot, men's mental health. I learned a lot about male-female dynamics. I learned a lot about just general how to manage a business. It was a very interesting business to run. It was an incredibly interesting business to run. And keep in mind, I don't come from a world where I have rich parents or successful parents. I don't have a university education. I'm not from a, I didn't go to a good school. I come from probably the worst town in England. It's still the worst town to live in in England. And I made a successful business out of running a webcam studio. And now I preach against it. I'm far more qualified to preach against the consumption of adult content and the creation of adult content because I'm a former industry insider. I'm very much like a former drug dealer who knows how bad drugs are because he saw the effects it had on his customers. So I like all the knowledge I gained from running that business. And if I could turn back time and not do it, I wouldn't. I'd turn back time and do everything exactly the same as I did.